I had like musicians in this corner and then there was like, I had the whole backyard measured out, figuring out like where each vendor was gonna go. And yeah, this is where it all started. I think the first flea market probably had 12 vendors um, and then it sort of grew to the side yard, to the front yard, and then I was like, this is too much to have at a house. So now we have like 22 or more vendors. Coming here has just been a really great way to connect with other artists and other people who like art. Um, and it's definitely just a good creative release for me. I think it's really cool that something like this can come together with all these different people, like, you know, artists that are coming up in Tucson and everything. So yeah, I just want to be a part of that. You're at Floozy, it just feels like home, I guess. Like, it feels like you can just be yourself. Floozy Flea is an ongoing flea market. It's for queer, BIPOC women, and disabled-owned businesses. I wanted to start doing Floozy Flea because I've been doing like my own market since high school, and I wanted to do that on a bigger scale and sort of like foster community in Tucson. I'd only been doing markets for like two months before Floozy Flea, and I had done like a regular, if you're from Tucson, like a true Tucson craft market, where like the stuff that I make makes people go, oh. And so um, it was really awesome to come to Floozy Flea and people be like, oh, wow, that's so sick. I love that that says that. Or like, I love that color. Floozy Flea really encourages you to just like, be as eccentric and like crazy as possible. And when people are going there, that's exactly what they're expecting. I think from the get-go, from its advertising is saying like, no, we're different. We have something else going on. I had seen posters for Floozy Flea way before May and I ever met. I would see them posted up by my house on like the street signs. And I would always think like, this is, so cool. We started doing Floozy Flea, I think, because Bella and I, my bandmate, are both really focused on like the power of community and something we center around is like femme-oriented community or like community that's being created by powerful women. Tucson is a really beautiful place that's growing really fast and tends to be very open but there's still a lot of spaces that are like really dominated by like the cis community and by men and like that's a valuable space but we were very attracted to like a space that's like for people like us I keep wanting to vend at Floozy Flea because it honestly feels like the only place where like I can really get my art out there. Doing Floozy Flea, I just found like my people and that's what makes me come back every single time. It's just like, it's like making 20 new friends. I get like 20 new Instagram mutuals and I'm like, oh, okay. And then it just keeps keep going from there. So being at Floozy Flea for the first time was my first genuinely like real experience seeing youth in Tucson. I was very freaked out. Everyone was so cool. To be very honest, I'm very intimidated by like just like the power of this community. And when I see these like figures around me, I'm like, wow, this is crazy that like these are the people who live around me. So it was inspiring. I think that's a good way to put it. And like meeting people like May and just like you see their art and what they create and there's like all these people making things and like displaying who they are through like personal fashion. I felt like overwhelmed and amazed because it was something I didn't even know was here that is fostered by May. And that's crazy. And I tell May that it's very important that they're here because Tucson, again, it's just nothing without places to go be amazed. Oh, 
I think I forget to like check in with myself, like how different it is from where it started. Um, but it's been going on for like a year now and I'm just, um, yeah, I'm proud of myself and what it's become and all of the vendors who have contributed to it too. I think the core of Floozy Flea is people just being vulnerable to each other and understanding of one another, like loving each other. That's so corny, but I feel like that's the heart of Floozy Flea. Hi, I'm Tom McNamara, host of Arizona Illustrated. Thank you for watching this Arizona Illustrated story here on YouTube. And if you like that one, well, here's another story we think you'll like.